good morning it's like 6 45 and i just woke up which is terrible because i was supposed to be up an hour ago i finished packing my room looks atrocious so i might just tear up and throw my stuff in this bin real quick these little clothes they're clean i'm just folding them up when i get to school Harry, up load the car up because i need to be on the road because my moving appointment is at nine o'clock and I already know traffic is going to be backed up because the system they do for testing when you arrive is kind of weird. So, I'm going to hurry up and we can be on our way. So, it's like 7.30. My car is all loaded up, trunk full and everything. My appointment's at 9 o'clock and it takes me like an hour and 20 minutes to get to school. So, I should make it at like 8.50. But once I get closer, I'm probably going to stop at the Smoothie King or something because I wanted to eat breakfast, but I didn't have time. And I know I'm going to be hungry sitting in that long testing line. So, yeah, I'm trying to hurry up and make my way down the road. And I'll update y'all when I get to Central. Um, I made it in an impeccable timing, may I add. It's 8.56 and I was supposed to get here at 9.02 but um the line is already long so i feel like i'm gonna be here for a while so if i get bored while i'm sitting here i might come back and talk to y'all but then again i might not because then the video is gonna be long for no reason but just know i'm waiting in the line to get covid tested and then after i get tested i can go on to my room and start moving so yeah so since diamond only has one passenger in her except for levi right there I got to skip basically the whole line. So, well, I wouldn't say, yeah, I skipped the line. So I'm on the fifth floor and it's a, it's a good amount of cars in front of me, but it's still definitely way less than what I would be if I was still on the ground level, like outside the parking deck. So I'm assuming that it's about to test me real quick. Like they just send people with one car up so they can like do those faster. And then I'm gonna sit there, wait for my results. And then boom, I can go move into my room. Ooh, so yeah let's hurry up and get this over with because I, I have to get all the stuff out of my car first and then like the stuff because i stayed on campus during the summer for summer classes so basically most of the rest of all my stuff is in a done so depending on how traffic is on lawson street that will depend if i'm able to go get my stuff out of there today so if i am i'll get that and i'll take y'all along with me but if not i'm gonna just show y'all what i do today like grocery shopping and all that and then just put a little clip of my finished product in my room like after everything so yeah got tested as you see i'm crying my nose running and my thing is right there so i can't even go in the glove box to get some tissue so i'm gonna just have to let this dry up it is so nasty but really wouldn't it even be a covid test if i wasn't crying like my eyes just always water every time but yeah um it's 9 45 i've been here for like 45 minutes and it doesn't feel like that long it feels like i've only been here for like 10 20 but yeah um i should be getting my results in like 10 minutes and then i should be able to head to my room so yeah i'll be back with y'all in a little bit exactly 10 o'clock i tested negative for covid as i should because i'm vaccinated and y'all need to be vaccinated too but anyways i'm on the way to my dormy dorm so yeah I'm staying in Austin again, so I'm gonna show you guys the empty room, even though y'all should already know what it looks like if you've been watching my videos. But if not, I'm gonna show you again just because I love y'all. So, yeah, I'll be back in like one second. I didn't even show y'all, but this is the room. It's backwards from last time. Like, my old room, when I came in the door, the kitchen would be like over there and the laundry room would be over there. I don't know. It's just, it looks different. But yeah, this is the kitchen and everything. The laundry is still there, like how it was. And my room, the desk was right here, but I moved it right there. And yeah, it feels pretty spacious right now. And I think that's because I don't have all my stuff in here yet, but we'll see. About to go get the rest of my stuff out the car. Right, y'all. So, well, let me turn the air off so y'all can hear. Okay, so I just took basically everything that I had in my car except for like a couple of my business like boxes that were in the trunk out because the line to move into like Austin and Chile is literally wrapped all the way down Austin Avenue. So yeah, um, I feel like I probably should just go park my car and sit down, but I need to go to Target. Like I need to get like groceries. I need some stuff I need to get. And like part of me is feeling like I should just do all that later because 
you know, like after moving stuff is over, like maybe seven or something, because the um what's it called the line like i said is wrapped all the way around so i won't be able to get back to the closed door to bring the stuff in like i'd have to walk all the way up the hill and up the stairs and i'm pretty sure the walker lot is going to be full too because people are moving in so i don't know what i'm doing right now i'm currently on the way to smoothie king because i haven't eaten today i'm thirsty it's hot i'm hungry like yeah i might go get me my five dollar smoothie and then um i'll probably will end up going to target and like i'll just walk back up the stuff that can't sit in the car like juices or like eggs type stuff but um yeah like if i get any like household type things that's gonna have to just stay in the car till later tonight when i'm able to move it up back to the top and yeah i don't know when i'm gonna be able to go get my stuff from a done so i'm just gonna show you guys the rest of what i'm doing today and like the progress i make in my room today but this video probably won't get uploaded for a little while because i'm gonna put the end clip of my room at the end of this video so yeah i'll be back with y'all in a little bit i already know my favorite place and i got pineapple surf which is like one of my favorite smoothies um i don't know why i took my hat off because my edges are messed up and i did not put no mousse or nothing on here but it's okay but yeah, I went to my favorite Smoothie King, the one with the drive through on University, if you know, you know. And they finally got new management. They had been like short staff for a while. And the lady that um gave me my smoothie was the manager and she was like, girl, come work here. She was like, but she didn't say it like that, but she was like, um, oh, you go to Central, like if you need a job, like we're hiring and I really like you, like you, you should come work here. So I'm like, mm, if I didn't have so much to do, I would, but I don't know. I'll definitely be visiting though. But that was nice. Not she liked me to come get a job there. Brr. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go and target and I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, so I didn't really make any like list as far as things I wanted to cook before I came. So I'm just gonna grab like, you know, things I need to eat like cereal, oatmeal, stuff for the morning, little snacks, like things like that. And then whenever I do like think of stuff I wanna cook, I'll just come to the store and get that thing. Cause there's no point in me buying all this stuff now especially knowing I can't carry it up there and then I need to get a couple of school supplies and things in my room and bathroom and that'll be about it okay y'all just gonna have to hear the air this time I know you see the sweat on me like under the mask so I spent a lot of dollars in Target not over 200 so like it was good um because I got like I needed my makeup stuff because I took a makeup class like the last weekend and I bought all the new makeup and that was $50 in its own. And then like the room stuff I got, stuff I got was like 60 to 80 for like the, I got gro a couple of groceries and then I got like a bath rug, a Brita filter. So it wasn't too bad and I got a planner too. So yeah, it wasn't too, too bad, but eh, eh. Cause I had Target Circle Rewards and I was expecting, cause I, I got two purchases over $35, so it was supposed to be a $10 gift card, and then I had $20 purchase of beauty like products, so it was supposed to be another $5 gift card, and I thought they were going to like add to my account instantly so I could have used that $15 on my other purchase because I broke it up into like three purchases, but I guess it takes some hours to load to my account or something because it didn't show up. So I guess next time I need to come get some groceries, I'm coming to Target because I got $15 gift card. But yeah, I'm about to head back to the room and just like unpack and stuff. I probably will end up coming back out later. I don't know, I might. But yeah, I'm about to go to my room, unpack, do some work and stuff. So yeah, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, so I got back from Target. I unpacked the groceries and I went to say hi to Miss Chi. And now me and I see her are in Starbucks. And they added the tables back. I don't wanna record people, but like you can sit down in here now. You used to couldn't do that. But yeah, um, just waiting on my drink. And yeah. So, ignore my lopsided bun. But there's supposed to be a day party in the Greek Bowl. And we're just sitting out here, you know. We don't have nothing better to do. Because it starts, it's from 4 to 8. And everybody knows you don't show up when it starts. But we ain't nothing else to do. So, we're just sitting here. And it's basically empty. But, yellow. Yes. Okay, so I'm back in my room. I stopped by the calf and I wasn't really liking what they had today. But look how big my window is, guys. Like the lighting is gonna be good. Uh, 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 uh. 
but yeah um as you can see i still have not unpacked anything um all my stuff is still in a done like the traffic is cleared up now but i don't even think i can go over there anymore because as you can see it's a police car blocking the entrance so even if i could get my stuff i wouldn't be able to bring it up here and what else Mm, I think Miss G left too. So yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting the rest of my stuff on Monday. So that's this pretty much the end of the vlog part. But I'll insert like what my room looks like after I'm finished. But before I upload it. So yeah, peace. Ignore my hair looking rough. I'm going to my hair appointment in like less than an hour. But my room is finally done. So I'm going to give y'all the tour. Okay, so the laundry room is here. Got a washer and dry. Well, this is the washer, this is the dryer. Linen closet. This is our living space. I have the area rug, succulents, painting. Our my roommate's yoga stuff and aromatherapy. This is the kitchen. Nice little homey vibe. And this is me and my roommate's bathroom. We have a sink space. This is her stuff. This is my stuff. The trash can rug here's our bathroom nice nice little bathroom here's our shower curtain now time to see my room the license plate shout out to sab they had a license plate making event and i made this and now for the inside so when you first come in i have this with my theme and this is the overview i'm gonna tell you guys like what everything is but this is what you see when you come in so i have my bin right here i have right here i just have my quick throw stuff so like my portable fan lotion to grab my keys the top one has hair stuff you can see the little pack sticking out so like ponytail wig blow dryer flat iron all that this one is like miscellaneous stuff so like snacks stuff for my lab and the bottom is like cleaning supplies over here i have my business stuff so shop with me at she's a fab collection have my shoe rack where all my lovely shoes and all my lovely clothes that i probably have too many of my bed dresser hamper business stuff and like just storage back there right here don't mind the suitcase i'm going to atlanta tomorrow so i'm packing for that i have accessories and hair stuff in here and more hair stuff over there my little mirror on the back of the door i have all my purses and hats my coat my lab coat for lab and my robe and then these pictures the ones on the outside i ordered from amazon and this one i painted about a year ago and oh my lights i forgot to mention these curtain lights i got off amazon and they have different modes but you have to press them with the button i don't really like the most too much because they give me epilepsy vibes but yeah um my desk i organized my desk really nice this year this is my youtube notebook you you know you know then i just have my pens pencils scissors markers all that good stuff down here the second door is kind of junky but has my computer some books command strips just miscellaneous items and like two items Ooh, let me not close this in here and my makeup kit my mimic oh my gosh my makeup bag would go down here but like i said i'm going to atlanta so i need that my jewelry smell goods makeup mirror my polaroid camera and then my calendar that i use to keep my life together oh my god why am i talking like that okay my little pen my book bag and my trash can and last but not least my nightstand the bottom one has self-care items so like nail polish face mask all that this has just like miscellaneous stuff so like nail clippers anything i would need while i'm close to the bed a self-care jar that I made on the picnic. If you saw that video, if you didn't, you can go back and watch it. Just little things to do when I'm feeling down or want to get back to myself. Um, picture with me and Sam, my best friend. Smell goods again. Picture of me and my boyfriend, my three-in-one charger, face mask, medicine, and my jewelry. So yeah, this is my room. I'm gonna do one last little spin. And yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more.